Assalamu alaikum students how are you all I hope that you all are doing great welcome to your channel maths d1 d2 scientific academy today I'm going to explain you practice now seven of chapter 14 which is set and your book is new syllabus mathematics 2 in new book is chapter 3 but in old book is chapter 14 I'm going to explain you practice now seven here you can see the question your books must be open in front of you Practice now 7, it is given that c is equal to x, x is a positive integer and a factor of 8. And d is equal to x, x is a positive integer and a factor of 16. In part 1, they are saying that list all the elements in c and in d in set notation. Part 2 is draw a Venn diagram to present the sets c and d. Part 3 is from the Venn diagram find c union d. And part 4 is is c union d is equal to d explain. Okay, I am going to explain you question number 1. Okay, the part one. In part one, they are saying that list all the elements in C and in D in set notation. What is C? C is given that x, x is a positive integer and a factor of 8. So you have to write down the positive factors of 8. And what are the factors? What does factor mean? Factor means that you have to see that factor of 8 means that with which number 8 is divisible by. Here you can see that it is divisible by 1, it is divisible by 2. 8 is divisible by 4 so these are the factors so now in C uh, you have to write down the factors of 8 so here I'm going to write down the factors of 8 positive factors of 8 so C is okay 8 is divisible by 1 2 okay it is not divisible by 3 and uh, it is divisible by 4 and then 5 6 7 and then it is divisible by 8 all right now d what is d d is x x is a positive integer and a factor of 16 now here over here you have to write down the factors of 16 positive factors of 16 so 16 is divisible by 1 16 is divisible by 2 16 is divisible by 4 uh, 16 is not divisible by 5 it's not divisible by 6 it's not divisible by 7 uh, 16 is divisible by 8 and it's not divisible by 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 and then it's divisible by 16. So these are the factors of 16. I hope that uh, you got it. And the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8 and the factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. Okay, in part 2 they are saying they draw a Venn diagram to present the set C and D. Okay, G. here you can see that C, elements of C are also there in D. It means that C is the proper subset of D. So whenever one set is the proper subset of the other set, you have to draw the Venn diagram like this. And this is the proper subset, which is C. And this big circle is showing D. First, write down the elements of C because C is the proper subset of D. What does proper subset mean? It means that the elements of C are also there in D. Okay, this is a symbol to show the proper subset. Okay, the elements of C are also there in D. So, C is a subset of D. And you have to draw the di Venn diagram like this. If one set is a subset of the other. And you have to draw the subset set over here. And the elements of this set is 1, 2, 4 and 8. The elements of C are 1, 2, 4 and 8. Okay, except these four elements. The elements which are left right over here in this area. So, this is how you have to show the Venn diagram. Okay, G. Now, third part is from the Venn diagram, find C union D. C union D that you have to write down the elements together. Whenever the word union is used, union is used, it means that combined together. It means that you have to write down all the elements together in a combined way. So, write down all these elements. 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. Okay, G. Now in part 4 they are saying that is C union D is equal to D. Okay G. They are saying that is C union D is equal to D. Okay what is D? C union D is 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16 and D is 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. It means that elements of C union D are also there in set D. So these two are equal. C union D is equal to D. So we will say that yes these are equal because elements are same. Elements of both uh, are so both sets are same okay G. I hope that question number one is clear to you now let's come to uh, question number two okay G. question number two is it is given that e is equal to x x is a multiple of seven such that zero less than x less than 
63 okay the range of e is given which is um, 0 less than x and less than 63 and f okay see, and then says they are saying that f is equal to x x is a multiple of 9 so it's that 0 less than x less than 60 same range is given for x okay see, in part one we have to write down the elements of in e and and f in set notation so i'm going to write the elements of e Less than 0 less than x mean that numbers are greater than 0 and less than 63 mean they are less than 60. Here the z equal to sign is not given. So it means that 63 is not included. You have to write down the elements which are less than 63. You will not write 63 in both sets in E and in F. Okay, G. So now here I am going to write the uh, multiples. What does multiple mean? Whenever the word multiple is used, it means that you have to go on the table of that number. Here in E, they are saying that x is a multiple of 7 such that 0 less than x less than 63. So go on the multiple on of 7. Go on the table of 7. So 7 1s are 7. 7 2s are 14. 7 3s are 21. And 7 4s are 28. 7 5s are 35. 7 6s are 42. Okay, what the range is given? The range is 63. So you will stop before 63. And uh, 6 7s are 42 and 6 8s are 7 7s are 49. 6 7s are 42. 7 7s are 49. 7 8s are 56. 7 9s are 63. So you will not write 63 because it's written that less than 63. So you are not supposed to write 63 over here. So these are the multiples of so these are the multiples of e you will stop over here because it's written then less than 63 now you have to write down the multiples of 9 multiples of 9 mean in f you have to write down the multiples of 9 and multiples of 9 mean that you will go on the table of 9 9 1s are 9 9 2s are 18 9 3s are 27 9 4s are 36 9 5s are uh, 45 and 9 6s are 54 uh, 9 7s are 63 so you will not write 63 you will stop over here because the range is less than 63 so uh, one to uh, so here uh, 7 14 21 28 35 42 49 and 50 c are the elements of e and uh, elements of f are 9 18 27 36 uh, 45 and 54 so here this is the part one now in part 2 they are saying they draw one diagram to present the sets E and F. Okay, G. You have to draw the Venn diagram. Okay. Um, here you can see that there are uh, Okay, G, here you can see that there is not a single element which is common in E and in F. So uh, there is nothing common so you will draw them separately. Okay, when there is no element common, you have to draw the, draw the diagrams, one diagram separately. You will show them by drawing two circles separately. So this is E and this is F. Now over here, write down the elements of E. So the elements of E are 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 50, 46. Here, write down the elements of F. So the elements of F are 9, 18. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45 and 54. So this is how you have to show the Venn diagram because there's nothing common. So you will draw the circle separately. Okay, G. in part 3 they are saying that from the Venn diagram find E union F. So E union, whenever the word E union used, whenever the uh, symbol union used, it means that you have to write down all the elements together in a combined way. So write down all the elements together. First write the elements of E. So they are 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, 56. Now write down all the elements of F. They are 9, 18, 27. Remember that you can write, you can, it's up to you that you can follow the sequence and if it, if you are not following the sequence then it's okay that will also be right okay 9 18 27 36 45 and 54 so i have written all the elements of both sets in a combined way so this is e union f i hope that today's lecture is clear to you take very good care of yourself 
थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड अल्लाह हाफिज़